let's say there are two points, point A and B. So point A, we have x1, y1, which is here and there, y, x1, y1. Point B, we have x2, y2, which is of course x2 along the x-axis, and then y2 is along the y-axis. And we want to find the midpoint of A and B, which is capital M, stand for midpoint. So the midpoint of A and B is M, X and Y. So we need to find the value of X and the value of Y. That will give us the midpoint. So X is along the um, X1 and X2. So to find X, we just add X2 plus X1 divided by 2. Just find the average of these two points, we give um, the X value. So which is X is equal to x2 plus x1 over 2. Now, for y value, same thing, we have the y value here, so between x, uh, y2 and y1. So therefore, we just need to find the average of y2 and y1. So which means y2 plus y1 divided by 2. So if you put them together, so we have m is x and y, so which means m is x, x is x2 plus x1 divided by 2 for y is y2 plus y1 divided by 2. So give you the midpoint. Now, let's have a look at this example here. So you have two points, 3, 2, and um, eight and 7 and 8. So we want to find out the midpoint of this. So the midpoint of this is, first of all, we know that this is x1, y1, just label it, okay, x2, y2. So you know that x, to find x, we just need to find the value average of x, so which means x2 plus x1 divided by 2, or x1 plus x2 divided by 2, doesn't matter, because it's 2 plus 3 is exactly the same as 3 plus 2, in this case here, so which is 7 plus 3 divided by 2 so which give me 7 plus 3 is 10 which is 10 over 2 10 over 2 is 5 now for y value so we have the y2 plus y1 divided by 2 y2 plus y1 divided by 2 which is find the average of x and then average of y that's all so which is 8 plus 2 divided by 2 so a plus 2 is 10, 10 over 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So therefore, the midpoint of these two points is 5, this 5 here, and y value is this 5. So the midpoint of between that two point is 5, 5, 5. Okay, this one here, a, we have minus 3, 3. B is 7, 8. So we need to, we want to find out the midpoint of A and B. So the midpoint, so X is equal to, let's say this is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. We're just naming it, that's all. So to find the, the X value, we just find the average of X, this 2. So in another word, I just write out the rule first, okay? X2 plus X1 divided by 2, which is 7 plus minus 3. Now, if you think about it, okay, plus minus 3, it's just same as minus 3. So I can just write minus 3 if I like, but I just write it down first. So which is 7 up, um, minus 3. So 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 over 2 is equal to 2. And then, for y value, y is equal to uh, y2 plus y1 divided by 2, which give me y2 is 8 plus y1, which is 3, divided by 2. So a plus 3 is 11. So 11 over 2 is 5.5 .5, or 5.5. So therefore, the midpoint capital M stands for midpoint, which is 2 
and five and a half. Okay, P and Q on this uh, num, num, on this um, Cartesian plane here. So P, if you look at it, P is actually is actually okay one because x is one, y is minus one. So one minus one. For Q is along five, x is five, and then y is four, five, four. So. You can actually draw a line, so which is, this is 1 here, this is 5 here. So halfway between, you can see from the number plan here, so which is, this number here is 3. So x is 3, and for y value, so because it's minus 2 and 4, so if you go up 2, this is go down 2, and then uh, 1, 1, so which is uh, 1 there. And then this is 3. So which is the midpoint, you can see by inspection, is 3, 1. But I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm going to um, just use a rule, just quickly sort this out. So what I do is this. So I know that P is 1 minus 1 and Q is 5, 4. So the midpoint of P and Q is we find the corner of x first. So x is the average of 2x together. See this 2? So we go 5 plus 1 divided by 2, which give me 3. For y value, so which is just average of these two here, so which is 4 plus minus 1. So 4 plus minus 1 divided by 2. Now, if you find it hard to, um, to do manually use um, with directed number. I just want to show you how to use calculator as well, just in case um, you're not confident with. So what I do, I just type exactly the same. So first of all, I put fraction first. So four plus minus one, very simple. Just put them in the calculator exactly the same. So which is three over two. So if you press, because you want mixed numeral, so it's just shift SD, one and a half. So you go y equal one and a half. So y is one and a half. So which is one and a half. So therefore, the midpoint is three and one and a half. Okay, with this question, question here, a is one eight. And B, we're not sure. So X2, Y2. Because this is X A, X1, and then Y1. So midpoint is given. So we need to find out what um, B is. So to do this, okay, because with diagram, I can do two methods. One, the first easy way is I can do by inspection. And then the other way is just using formulas, which is involving equations of course. So let's do first uh, method which is inspection first. Let's see how we go. So to do this, so what I do, I look at the x value, value first, so 1 and 3. So from 1 all the way to 3, so 1 to 3 is 2 units. So I can draw a triangle, triangle here. So this is start from 1 all the way to 3 which is 2 units across. So 1 to 3, okay, all the ways and then which is two units. Now look at the y value. So this is, let's say y value, this is five here, this is eight here. From five to eight is three units up, if you like. So therefore, because M is the midpoint, so which mean, okay, this triangle, triangle, triangle exactly the same, because it's midpoint, so which is two unit across. So this means that, start from um, X first, look at look X first from three, Three, x is 3 value, you add 2 to get 5. So which is x2 is 5. Because 3 plus 2 is 5. Now for y value, because you start 5, you go down another 3 units. So the answer is 5 minus the 3 is 2. So your answer is b is 5, 2. This is by inspection. But 
what happened is if they don't give you a diagram and then this is give you a point and a midpoint as you divide the um, the third cone uh, the third point. So the way to go about this is I use formulas. So you know that find the average of x is x2 plus x1 divided by 2. So this is the, the midpoint of x. So which is 3 here. So which is 3 is equal to x2. So b is x2 and then y2. So which is x2 is we don't know. So we just, I just write x2. But because um, I don't know, I'll just write it down first. And then x1, so this is x1, y1. So it's add 1 divided by 2. Now I just solve equation because I, I want to find out what x2 is, of course. So I time 2, I time 2, that's cancel out. So which is 6, 6 is equal to x2 plus 1. Then what plus 1 give me 6? 5, right? Otherwise minus 1 here, minus 1 here. 6 minus 1 is 5, so x2 is equal to 5. Or I can just write x equal 5. It's just naming, that's all. So I put, I just write x2 first. So x2 is 5. Let me clear that first so I have a bit more space to write on. And then to find y, same rule apply. So I know that to find the midpoint of, um, of y is x uh, y2 plus y1 divided by 2. But y is the midpoint of, of the um, coordinate, coordinate of y, so which is 5, is equal to y2, well, I don't know what that is, then I add y1, which is 8, divided by 2, then I time 2 both sides, time 2, so 5 times 2 is 10, which is that cancel out, so which is y2 plus 8, so 2 plus 8 is 10. Or you can just minus 8 this side, minus 8 that side. So y2 is equal to 2, because 10 minus 8 is 2. So y, therefore y2 is 2. So therefore, okay, the point coordinate, if you like, the coordinate of b, which is x first, of course, 5, followed by the coordinate of y, so which is 2. So therefore, the point b is 5, 2. Thank you so much for watching.